going to do a very quick walkthrough on backgrounds. Um, we had talked about, um, well, so how you could add a background to any element that is already a block. So actually, I'm going to show you this using the inspector, which I think, um, assuming this loads nicely, right-click inspect is what I just did to bring up the inspector. Um, that should be an option in all your browsers if you... Um, I recommend Google Chrome. That's what I'll use to teach, but um, you know you could use anything you like. Um, and it looks like Rep looks like being a little fussy here. Well, if it doesn't want to play nice, come on, Replit. You can also inspect from this view, but um, I'll show you what that looks like. It just gets it gets pretty cramped, and it gets a little hard because in addition to your document, you have all the other like wrapper. But I'll go ahead and use this document for now. So just if I came to like main, for example, I can add a background color. I'm using either like a name or a hex code or whatever I would like. So like if I just wanted to do a background color, anytime you define a background color, you should also go ahead and define a color for the text so that it sticks out. So um, now if I want to make that change permanent, I need to copy what I did in the inspector. And you can also make little sections if you want to organize your code. So I could do like a color section here. Oops, don't need the font family there. Just the background color and hit play. All right, and now I defined that background color. Um, you could also take any given Part of it. So like if I wanted to take every H2 and make it background yellow, I can do that. I'm um, depending on what the thing is and where the squares are, that obviously might look pretty terrible like it does there. Um, looks like my main doesn't have a margin auto on it, which is going to drive me a little nuts. Go ahead and throw that on there just so it gets centered. And I'll close the inspector. It's pretty annoying to have the inspector plus the code editor up. All right, so now my card itself has a background. Um, you know, that's sort of likely what you might want to do. Um, but maybe you've got some cool looking um, idea for a background image um, that you want to do. So here I just Googled background image generator to find some nice background image generators on the web. Um, and here's one. And it, I can start by choosing a color, so I'm going to choose some color I think is handy. And it will put like little lines over it or a little fabric-y effect. Um, they have all kinds of effects I can choose. So. I'll go ahead and do this thready looking one. Um, oh, and I can, this is quite handy. I can like choose how intense the pattern is. I can add some noise. This is looking like the 1990s web right now. Um, wow, this looks kind of terrible. All right, well, I'll try to pick one that's not quite so ugly. All right, so let's say that I really wanted this this pattern. Um, turn the noise down. All right, um, I'm going to go ahead and download the background image, um, and then 
once you have an image file, you can upload it to Replit. Or can you? There we go. Um, There we go, now it recognizes it as a PNG. And now in my style, instead of using a background color, I can use a background. And we're gonna give it a URL. That's the URL of the image. In this case, it's just bg.png. And now that's our background. Um, notice I still have the background color. That's like a fallback. If the URL doesn't load, it will paint it that color. Um, does this have a color picker or no? no I can imagine. Sure. Okay. So that's the simple way to put a background on. Um, in this case, my text is pretty readable. I'm just going to show you. Um, let's imagine that instead of that background, I wanted a uh, beautiful mountain image like this one. Upload that. Um, and I'm going to change my background URL to mountain.jpg. All right. Um, now, there's a whole bunch of options. If you go to W3Schools, um, background CSS, um, you will find all the documentation on the background image and you'll notice there's like background detachment, background repeat. I'm not going to get into that in this video, but this is basically like, is the background centered? Is it at the top? Does it repeat or is it scaled? Like what happens if your background basically doesn't fit with your card exactly? So if you do nothing, it looks like I've got the top. But anyway, the, my point for this is this is an image that I'm not going to find any text color that's going to look good over it. Um, because if I made it, you know, say I make the text black, you can read it there. If I make the text, you know, off white, it reads there, but then over the white, it's kind of bad. Um, so, assuming that this image doesn't work very well, what I want to do is basically put another box um, inside of main. So I'm going to just show you back here. You can put one background or one color on every element that you create, right? So if I've got main here, that's going to have be one. Um, so I'm going to just add a new thing here, div. Um, I'm going to use our first class, which we haven't used yet. But class is just a way to let me select just one thing in CSS. Um, all of this gets indented one, and now we've got a div outside. Since I just wrapped main in a div, it should have essentially no effect at first. It does nothing. All right. Now, if I come in here, I'm going to say div dot wrapper. That's the one I just created, and I'm going to make it the exact same size as main and give it a margin auto. That'll make it, again, that should make no change. All right, but now I'm going to put these on the wrapper instead of main. Again, no effect. But what I have now 
is another box inside the box that I can color. So what I'm going to do here is set a color. Um, and if I took a normal color, like let's say I took um, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, that's just black. So if I put black over it, of course you can't see the background. So the normal hex code is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 numbers. Um, but I'm going to add opacity to it, which I can do with this chooser by dragging this. You'll notice now this is an eight-digit hex code, and this says how see-through is it. So now what I've got is a black see-through layer on top. And that's going to make my text readable if it's white. Um, if I would prefer to lighten instead of darken, I can change these from being close to black to being close to white. So if I do one, two, three, four, five, six, oops, you can see. Now I have like a gray basically, and then let's make this something close to black. One, two, one, two, one, two. All right, so that got it lightened up. So that's two choices. Um, and I will show you. in the inspector how that works. Oh, unless this is still being fussy. Eh, too fussy. Okay, I'll show you in this inspector. So there's my wrapper and there's my main. And we'll notice they're right on top of each other, right? So the wrapper has the background image and I can come into this inspector I should be able to uncheck them if I want to. I don't know why. It's italicized, I can't. And then the main puts the white. So that's a technique. Often we just basically add an extra layer um, so that you can layer on a background color over a background image. It's a simple way to make the background image um, displayed. You can also use that technique to do kind of cool things like, um, I'll just show you an example. So this one has this main color. Um, I'm going to add a new rule. This is main hover and is going to make this get closer to white when we hover. Go ahead and run that. So now as you hover it gets more readable. Um, and then if I were doing that as an effect what I might do is make this one much more see-through like that. gone too far there. All right, and then I can also, just to show off, I can add a transition, background color, 500 milliseconds, Now it's going to take a half a second to do the transition. So that's like just a, showing you why you might use this technique instead of just editing your background image. You can actually have interactive web elements. So now my background like fades in and out, which is kind of kind of cool. All right.